Ranger Raid. How to mount the rifle scope. Hello and welcome to a new Steiner tutorial. My name is Michael Gast and today I will show you how to mount the new Ranger 8 on a Benelli Lupo. What do we need to mount the Ranger 8? Logically, the Ranger 8, which comes from the factory with two flip covers, front and rear, and an Allen wrench, which is needed for adjustment. Furthermore, it is useful if you have a screwdriver available, as well as a torque wrench to be able to tighten the base, as well as the rings with the correct torque. What do we do in the first step? We have already attached the mount to the gun, or the base of the mount with a torque of 3 newton meters. But again, please always check the manufacturer's manual to see what torque is intended for the base or the gun. We will now open the rings to insert the scope. The mount, in this case the Seiko Optilock, consists of a ring top, a ring bottom and plastic insert rings. I mount these insert rings on the scope and then insert that into the lower ring parts. So, to adjust the eye relief, logically open the flip covers. The ideal eye relief is about 8 cm. Of course, it depends on the length of the socket and your personal autonomy to find this 8 cm exactly. We said we go into the seated position, because that's the most common firing position in Germany, and then try to find the ideal eye relief by sliding it back and forth. How can you find the ideal eye relief for you? The ideal interpupillary distance is 8 cm, which depends a bit on your anatomy and the length of the stock. As an aid for you, you look through the scope and want to see the complete field of view. That is, no black edge should be visible. By moving the scope back and forth, you can find the exact point where you can see the entire field of view. And when you have found it, leave the scope in position. The next step before we move on to mounting the scope is to align it horizontally to the weapon. You can use a yardstick as an aid here. I want to eventually line up the straight surface down with the straight surface here. I can do that by inserting the ruler here, rotating it so that the scope aligns horizontally with the weapon. Optionally, you can use two bubble levels. I use one bubble level to align the rifle, and I place the other bubble level on top of the scope. Ideally, I unscrew the cover for this and can then align the two bubble levels to each other and achieve the same thing. The next step is to tighten the rings. Please make sure that the plastic rings that you have mounted around the scope have the opening facing the edge of the rings and that you always tighten the screws clockwise and that the gap dimensions on both sides of the rings are always the same during tightening. Before you finally tighten the rings with a torque wrench, you can check the horizontal position of the scope again to make sure that it has not slipped. And then we tighten the rings with 2.5 newton meters. But again, always refer to the manufacturer's operating instructions, which specify the torques. Now the rings are tightened, and we can move on to adjusting the scope to the weapon. 